let's explore what's inside the Into the Forest Create Along box. Hello everybody! I just got my Into the Forest Create Along box and we're going to take a peek inside and see what we've got to create with this month. All right. We've got some golden, ooh, that's a pretty color, golden green, and this is the new Dazzle Dust. All right, I'm going to show you how to use the Dazzle Dust on clay. You want to use it on baked clay. You can use it on other materials too, wood and such, but I'm going to use some scrap pieces. I have been cutting out small circles and various shapes, things like that, out of my scraps recently, and I hang on to them, and that way I have them to do things like this with. But it's important to heat your clay to about 300 degrees. You can use your oven or a heat tool. I'm gonna to move this out of the way, and I'm gonna use my heat tool. Okay, and then you wanna dip it in your Dazzle Dust. And you can do this several times so that you can make it darker. Or... So I changed my mind. I wanted to experiment with it on some lighter colored clay scrap. And this was actually pearl, but you can see it's absolutely gorgeous on that but it, it's still really pretty on the sort of black base too so dazzle dust is durable it's waterproof and it does not chip or flake off of your clay we have got some bling some gorgeous crystals and it says they're hot fix so that makes them even easier to use awesome This is really fun. This deco disc set has got lots of, it's got the, a bunny and a fox and a flower. Really pretty. When using deco discs, you do want to use a release agent. You can use mica powder or water, which is what I usually use. Some of our artists use Armorall. And I'm just going to wet the section of this one that I'm going to use. And we're gonna make this little fox. I've got some bronze Sculpey Primo that I've rolled out to a two on my pasta machine. And this is just how I like to use my deco discs to make sure I get a good impression. And there is our little woodland fox. Now I'm going to cut him out with a craft knife and then I'm going to highlight the raised areas with some of that gold metallic luster that I had. I'm going to add one of these little Saborski crystals to his eye. That'll just give it a little bit of bling and they're hot fix, so once it's cured, it will stay in place. Let's see what's in this mystery box. Oh, itsy bitsy little bottles little cork stoppers. Oh, those are really cute. Those would be really fun either for Halloween magic potion earrings or a pendant or love potion earrings or a pendant or something fairy related. Those are really cool. 
This is an awesome new rubber stamp. I love that Create Along is carrying rubber stamps again. This one is called Forest Fronds. We have got two goodies in this package. Let's see, we have got this really pretty herbal garden silk screen. This is gorgeous. And I believe this is the one that was designed by Sherry Jo Hendricks. I'm really looking forward to creating with this one. And this is a maple leaves stencil, which would be great with mica powders or paint, obviously, or pan pastels or even metallic leaf. And be sure you check out Sandy Huntress's tutorial this month using this box because she does something really cool with this stencil in her tutorial. This is some scrap Primo that I conditioned and rolled out to a two on my Atlas machine. And I'm going to first texture it with the forest bronze stamp that came with this month's box. Okay, so that's gonna actually be the back. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And this is the maple leaf stencil that came in this month's box. So I'm gonna put that down and then I'm going to actually use the same rubber stamp to texture just the areas that show. And I'm changing around what area of the stamp I use so that the texture will be different. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of gold metallic luster just to highlight those leaves a bit. Maybe I'll add a bit of copper here and there too, just to add some interest. And I think that's really pretty. Okay, I've got some more of that green blended clay that I've rolled out in my Atlas machine. And I'm going to use this beautiful silk screen, Herbal Garden. And you wanna place it colored side against the clay. I like to just roll it a bit, make sure it's gonna stay adhered well when I screen. And I'm using some gold acrylic paint just need a small section for what I'm going to do. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go ahead and wash this out right away so that it's ready to use next time. I'm Cindy McGee, and I hope you enjoyed exploring the Into the Forest Create Along box. Remember to share your projects in our Create Along Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook group.